private property. No trespassing. Mm. When I look at that sign right here placed on my private property, the land that God gave me some 11 years ago, I can't help but think about my own property, or rather God's property, which is my body. Because see, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, the Bible said in verses 19 and 20, What know ye not? That your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which you have from God. You're not your own. You've been bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are the Lord's. My body. My body is for the Lord, and the Lord is for my body. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verses 13. So just like this sign reads, private property. No trespassing. My friend, we need to declare prophetically these same words that we see posted on this sign here today. Hallelujah. Amen. That we are God's private property. When the enemy comes and attacks your flesh, you need to lay hands on yourself as the redeemed of the Lord and declare, no trespassing, devil. You will be prosecuted. No trespassing. This is private property. And today I want to bring forth a prophetic prosecution to everything that is coming against your flesh, your temple, the temple that belongs to the Holy Ghost, your body, from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. For Psalms 107 verses 2 said, Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom the Lord hath redeemed out of the hand of the enemy. The word redeemed means to be purchased or to be bought. And friend, I want you to know, this very day, if Jesus lives on the inside of you, you are private property. Your spirit, your soul, and your body belong to the Lord, according to 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 23. That's right. You are heaven's real estate. Hear me. Your private property. And friend, if sickness is in your body, if disease is in your body today as a saint of God, as a child of the living God, through faith in Jesus, we're children of God, Galatians 3, 7. And according to the book of Galatians chapter 3, verse 26, we are the children of Abraham through faith in Jesus. And Galatians 3, 29 declares also that we, as children of Abraham, through faith in Jesus Christ, we're heirs according to the promise. Not just a promise, but the promise, meaning every promise in the book the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible. And one of those promises are simply this, 1 Peter 2, 24, by his stripes she were healed. So your body is not your own. It belongs to the Lord. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. It's heaven's real estate here on the earth. It's God's property. Therefore, sickness is trespassing. Disease is trespassing. Affliction, infirmity, and spirits of infirmity, demons of infirmity, and pain is trespassing. While I'm speaking to you, I bear even in my body a pain in an issue that's been going on for years that even surgery has not corrected and even more stuff that's tried to come alongside of that. And I'm not only preaching to you, but I'm preaching to myself. Saint of God, it's time to take authority in the name of Jesus Christ over our bodies and declare this as heaven's real estate, as God's private property. Himself, Jesus, took our infirmities in his body on the tree that we be in dead unto sin to live unto righteousness by whose stripes we were healed. Again, that's 1 Peter 2, verse 24. Friend, Jesus took our sins. Jesus took our sicknesses, our diseases in his body on that tree. And he said, by my stripes, you were healed. Not going to be, you are. For Colossians 2 and verse 10 says, In Christ ye are complete. John 19 and 30, Jesus hang on that tree on that cross and said, It is finished. He didn't say, I'm going to heal. No, he said, you're healed. For the Bible said in Ecclesiastes 3, verse 3, there's a time to kill and a time to heal. Over 2,000 years ago on a Roman rugged cruel cross as Jesus shed his blood, that was the time of killing. Since then, even to now, as I'm preaching and looking in this lens in the year of 2015, I'm saying to you, it's a time to heal. 
For over 2,000 years, it has been the time to heal because the time to kill was completed. It was finished in Christ on that cross. And Matthew 8, verse 17 said, Himself took our infirmities and He bore our sicknesses. Friend, if Jesus took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses, well, then it's His revealed will that we should not keep it. We should not keep the disease if he took it. We should not keep the sickness if he took it. We should not keep the pain, the infirmity, if he took it in the mighty name of Jesus. Get this down deep in your spiritual DNA today, that you are the redeemed of the Lord, washed in the blood of the Lamb. You're the children of Abraham through Jesus Christ, and you're heirs according to every promise he has ever promised, including the healing health promise. Hallelujah. Friend, according to Luke chapter 13, verse 12, Jesus called a woman to himself, and he said, Woman, you're loose from your infirmity. She was still bent over and bowed together. She was still in pain, just like she was before Jesus said that. But that's how Jesus talks. That's how Jesus operates. He always calls things that are not as though they were, Romans 4, 17. He'll call you healed before you feel like it, before you look like it. The doctors may be saying it's worse, and you only have so much time to live, or et cetera, whatever it is. But God always calls you something you don't look like, neither do you feel like, and often the diagnosis of man does not even agree with. But my friend, Jesus is saying today, I loose you from your infirmity, meaning I loose you from calling it your sickness. Quit calling it your problem. Quit calling it your disease. Second Chronicles 20 verse 15, what a word for 2015. He said, the battle is not yours, but God's. That's right. I want you to declare out loud today, redeemed of the Lord, I am private property. I belong to Jesus Christ. I'm heaven's real estate. And this sickness, this disease in me that's attacking my body, trying to destroy the temple of the Holy Ghost, keeping me, hindering me from serving God fully is nothing but an attack of Satan. It's not from God. It's not the will of God. And I'm private property, no trespassing. And today we prophetically prosecute that illness and that disease and we command it to come out of your body now and go back to the pit of hell from which it came. In the mighty name of Jesus, whom we serve, whom we preach, whom we've dedicated our life to, we believe the word of God. To have an awesome journey, revolution with God Almighty to have an experience of a heavenly kind like you never have, to experience the power and miracles of God, my friend, requires only two words found in Mark 5, 26, only belief. Believe him today that your private property bought by the blood of Jesus. My body's the temple of the Holy Ghost. I'm not my own, therefore I don't live. I don't do things on my own. I don't believe the reports of men in medical fields. I believe the report of the Lord, according to Isaiah 53 and 1, and God's hand will stretch forth. When I believe his report, it'll reveal his arm stretching forth as Isaiah 53 verses 1 declares. So believe his report and his hand will stretch forth and he will heal. My friend, it's his will today, your private property. So let's prosecute this enemy, this serpent, the devil, in the mighty name of Jesus, this spirit of sickness. For in Luke 13, Jesus said, woman, you're loose from thine infirmity. I loose you from calling it yours. I free you from saying it's mine. No, it's not. Jesus said that feeling you got in your body, that pain, that disease, that sickness, that infirmity, it's not yours, it's mine. I took it, I captured it, I seized it at Calvary over 2,000 years ago when I shed my blood on that Roman rugged cruel cross and laid down my life so that your sins could be forgiven and so your body could be healed. I took it then. Friend, before ye were sick, ye were healed. Get that in your spirit, saint of God, redeemed of the Lord, because you're private property, and you need to prosecute that foul spirit of infirmity like Jesus did in Luke chapter 13. Jesus declared to that woman, he said, you're loose from thine infirmity, and then he called this thing, he identified it in verse 16 of Luke 13. He said, it's a spirit of infirmity that has bound this woman low 18 years, and Jesus defended his right to heal her and for her to be healed with this statement. He said, ought not the daughter of Abraham be healed? 
That's right. Again, Galatians 3 says we're covenant children of God through faith in Jesus Christ. And because of that, we're now the children of Abraham. We're heirs according to every promise. We inherit everything he's ever promised. Healing being one of those promises. Health, divine health being one of those promises. And listen what he said. He said, all not the daughter or all not the sons and daughters, all not the children of Abraham be healed. Friend, Jesus that is written in red and that Jesus that it's written in red about that said those words that I quote to you today is still saying the children of Abraham ought to be healed. And again, according to Galatians 3, the children of Abraham are those who have faith in Jesus Christ and we inherit every promise, including the promise of divine health and healing as a part of the covenant of his cross through the atoning shed blood that came out of his body on that cross. Friend, Jesus took your sin, but he also took your sicknesses in his body. Whatever sickness you've been diagnosed with, whatever symptom you have that is undiagnosed, whatever you're experiencing in your flesh today, friend, the capital C, Christ, is exalted above a lowercase c called cancer. Don't you be afraid. There's still a healer in this earth. His name is Jesus the Christ. And today I point my hands towards you, hallelujah, in faith. Needing a miracle even to backfire from my own prayer for you into my body. But I declare in total persuasion that we're being healed in the name of Jesus because we're private property. No trespassing. We're the redeemed of the Lord. And our bodies are the temple of the Most High God. So today in Jesus' name, I command you to be whole from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet and everywhere in between. Because if Jesus lives in you, you're heaven's real estate. And we declare today this prophetic prosecution to that trespasser of all trespassers, Satan himself. Spirit of infirmity, leave the temples of the Holy Ghost who watch this very video now. I command it to be so and prophesy it's done now. As a prophet of the living God through faith in Jesus Christ, we're private property, no trespassing. We prosecute you now by the proclaimed word of God and our faith in that word. In Jesus' mighty name, be healed.